All right, how's that sounding, Mr. Steph? How's that sounding? Sweet. Yes. All right, we're up and running. <laughs> All right, where you were sounded we? pretty good to me. <laughs> okay. So when you create your groups in here in the tasks, you got this little faction thing. Now you can use side, side ID, whichever. Um, but I've linked it to a string called faction type op4. So when you go to the configuration, let me just close that and you just look at the general mission configuration right at the top you've got these three variables faction type blue, faction type of 4 and faction type civ and they link to a config now I've created one under factions called Altus and here I've got the display name, you can call it whatever you want you can set a colour for it and you can set the side, so this one's set to uh, east so 0 being east, 1 being west, and 2 being uh, guerrilla or independent, and 3 being civilian. Uh, then you just set your, at your class names and all that stuff for your groups and your vehicles. So that allows you to, on the fly, create a whole bunch of actions, change it here, and none of your tasks break. So when you're playing Op4, if you look at the task in armor, you're not actually playing against CSAT or anything, you are playing against these, uh, this group called, I think it's got it in here somewhere, here it is, Syndicate uh, Anti-Air Activity, and that's because I called the uh, faction Syndicate. Does that make sense? Yep. Yes. Oh, that's pretty that's crisp and clear. Yeah, so you, you can create your own factions, do whatever. Um, go crazy. And uh, this one's a custom faction, which is the premise of this one is Syndicate is a local insurgent group backed by CSAT. So if you're NATO, you'll be fighting a CSAT-backed guerrilla in insurgency. Um, but as we expand into different maps and different uh, versions, uh, such as Op4 fighting NATO, that type of stuff, we might uh, reverse the role. And I think I also made it a dynamic variable as well cannot remember if I've got it in this version. The beauty of object-oriented programming, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just quickly check. Where did I put it? Would have been descriptions. Oh, where's my parameters up here? No, I've, I've left it out of the latest version. In one of the development versions, I made the faction types of variables so you could change it on the fly. Anyway, he's the guy who asked before how many lines. <laughs> oh god, I, I still haven't checked. Uh, I dread to check, to be honest. Odd. Maybe when it's done. <laughs> yes. Release yeah, candidate. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So I got this. Um. So what I'm, the way I'm structuring the tasks is I'm creating these generic, templated tasks which are tested, they work uh, and then essentially you have your operation which has your parent task and your child tasks. Now the child tasks rely on those um, templated tasks and then you mm -hmm. just modify them with specifics where you want. So if you wanted to call them with a different task description or whatever, you just change that. But it ultimately allows you to reuse the same template again and again and again without needing uh, to retest everything again. So this air superiority, or, yeah, air superiority one seems to work. 
Oh, and what I was mentioning earlier in regards to faction names, uh, the variable faction op for short in the text arguments allows you to input your faction name in here without needing to rewrite the task description every time. Oh, that's so handy. So that's it just great. uses the format, so that's variable 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So faction op for short is the short name of the faction, obviously, so syndicate. And wherever you can see uh, percentage 6 here, You'll, that's where will syndicate will be, will be input when it creates the task. So you end up seeing uh, recent uh, directing recent syndicate air to air ac activity, uh, and later on you also see it uh, further analysis of syndicate uh, air capability. So that allows you to update your task de details independent of your um, faction config. and vice versa, update faction names independent of your task config. Bingo. Modularity. So, I'm gonna sign off the air superiority task as working. Oh, you're gonna love this as well, that um, task I created to demonstrate all the variables and the all the config options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of deleted it. <laughs> what? Oof. What? <laughs> yeah. Check your garbage bin. No, nah, it's um, I overwrote it by accident. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yonkers, it's dude. Gone. It's That's gone. right. It exists in a stream in the video, so if anyone wants it, they can go there. But. Uh, yeah, it was literally this task here, and I overwrote it with the original task before I realized. Oh, I was oof. like, ah, oh, shoot. It's a big oof. Yeah. Do you need it? I can go, with, like, grab it real quick. Nah, nah, it's, nah, it's all good. It's, it's there now in history in the video anyway. stream. I know it's in the stream. I can go, like, transcode it into text. No, go <laughs> literally go find it. <laughs> No, that's all because what I'll what I'll do eventually is I'll get it running uh, in uh, in uh, here. So in the framework. Oh shit! Where is it? It is in the task here. The idea is this is where you set it all up. So if you wanted to say here's the vehicle config, here's all the variables and stuff like that. and then gives examples. Oh, nice. So you don't need to include documentation because you already have documentation. Yep. Yeah, it's been there since... Oh, God, when did I create this? View history. Uh, that was 2017. Page last modified, that. 2017. Yep. That's how old this code is now. And yeah, probability is mandatory. I keep forgetting my own rules. Because yeah, if you're missing this one little line, probability equals whatever, a number, um, it won't spawn that group. And yeah, I forgot my own rules. So for one task, I was trying to work out why the hell I couldn't spawn anything, and then yeah, I just forgot the probability. All right, let's get all these sad missions out of the way. So how many missions are you plan on shipping out? Uh, in the next update, uh, for the final, well, this is supposed to be the final update to the beta. Um, I want at least 15, and then while the uh, while I'm getting the feedback from people on what work, what doesn't, um, I'll be just smashing out more and more. So the original list I had back in the day was. I think it was like 111, 110 different variant, uh, different missions or operations. 
Oof. check the archives. If I go... And then keep in mind the big operations for Patrol Ops 4 also have randomization in the three stages or two stages or just single stage operations. So you could have, you could potentially go through it, go through it for for years and years and still not hit the same combination of missions. Yeah, exactly. You you're very unlikely to to encounter the same the exact same um, deployment setting of a task. Hmm. Like Yonkers, that's... Because if I go and preview this now, like you just saw um, the creation of that uh, air superiority task twice. Every time you go and create it, it searches new positions. So if I go again, and this one, it's called Gluttony Heart this time. Remember the operation names as well are random every time. Mm -hmm. Now it's spawning it down here. And yeah. Excuse me. So that'll that'll pick locations every single time. So if I show you what options it's it's got actually I disabled that didn't I so we did this in another stream um, developer draw map data render everything this is the um, current Altus map data used for this mission when it loads up Jesus. <laughs> so back in Patrol Ops 3, this happens every single time a new mission spawns. Yep. In Patrol Ops 4, this happens once, and it doesn't even have to be when the server's running. No. You you run this as a developer client side, record the config, and then uh, the mission will then read that config every time it needs it. So it speeds it up thousands, thousands of times faster. I'm just in awe about all the different positions right now. Yeah, I love yeah. how it just marks out every single like. Did you add level. arrows? Because I didn't remember seeing those before. So the arrows are there uh, on the roads. So if you zoom right oh down into God, road, the roads. you can see there's a position on the road, which is a position it'll pick for an IED, for instance. Yes. <laughs> I thought it just oh. marked like places it marks roads as well yes it's cool so it's yonkers really cool it finds in yonkers is all i got to say independent <laughs> houses villages clearings forests um it even has churches shacks um actually i'll, I'll show you these are these are all the variant options you got shack forest village clearing hill house farm villa Fuel dep or fuel um, location, factory, airport, military, tower, uh, dock, sporting field, and ruins uh, as viable locations to uh, for tasks to find in. So for the SAM sites, it is searching for clearings, hills, farms, military, and sporting fields. For man pads, clearing hills, farm, military, and sporting fields as well. So those are all the locations it will search for uh, when it creates that that task. So uh, the one we did in the stream last time was the fuel depot, which is here. Uh, fuel, fuel supply, fuel supply insurgents. Insurgents. But it's empty again because remember I overwrote everything I did last time because you know I'm smart. It's okay. We can be. We can be cool. Um, this didn't happen last stream. It happens this stream. 
So I'm just going to recreate it from scratch. And I don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Okay, so we're going to call this one, we don't need the task base anymore. So, OP, sad fuel supply insurgency. So the key is now there's that summary. So in this one, enemy forces are raiding civilian fuel supplies in and need to be stopped. So this um, summary will just simply display when you are deciding which operation to trigger next. And fuel supplies is a relatively cheap mission, so we'll make the intel requirement four. Now the type ID, I've standardized them now. You don't need to do this for your own TAC missions, but um, I've set operations which are search and destroy as 12. So I'll change that to 12. Uh, area size is 1000 by 1000, search radius is anywhere on the map to start with, don't really care. Except the position search types now is fuel, that's the only thing I'm looking for. Um, and once again, percentage 1 in the title is the first variable, which is the operation name generator. Uh, percentage 2 is a random code, has a unique reference ID, uh, date date time is percentage 3 and we're going to now create the synopsis for this task to kind of put the narrative together so in when you're creating your own tasks this is where you would set the scene because this, remember this is the parent task mm -hmm. so here the brief uh, percentage 6 because remember I'm using Op 4 short in, wait, is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep. So for 6 forces, uh, actually let's, let's flesh this out. Reports from local town leaders indicate as our rating there. Fuel supplies in an effort to. I don't know. Why would they do this in an effort to. Um, Secure them greens. Percentage 5. Influence. The area action percentage five forces, which is NATO in this instance, will move to any recently reported um, incidents to s provide actually to secure the area and provide what are we providing? Security. Yeah. Uh, and to maintain and to build a sense of Was it um, build? I would say build influence. So influence with what we call civilians by making them feel safer. Intel now. This is where I love to be a little bit misleading because um, you'll notice with the air superiority one, it's the exact locations are unknown, blah, 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 blah.
that's fine. Um, Last time we said that the enemy light vehicles, uh, or enemy were moving in light vehicles with limited support in order to steal fuel from the stations. Uh, good idea. Operating a white operation with reports indicating actually minimal, minimal operation with reports indicating usage of light technicals to maintain speed and um, low profile. Syndicate are operating a minimal operation with reports indicating usage of light technicals to maintain speed and low profile. Yep. You said before for note, speak with civilians who may have intel on the target or enemy positions. Recovering intel from Syndicate forces may provide leads on a location or target of opportunity. That's the one. Oh, you have that for everyone. <laughs> I, was like, I oh. have that for most of them, yeah. Um, there's some which have slight variations, but generally they're all the all the same at the uh, parent task level. Um, and then we get into the actual tasks. So what I'm going to do here is create a task I can call on. Uh, and I want to destroy... Uh, this one is going to be destroy... Um, INS uh, destroy squad um, and I can probably just steal this from my last ones which we've already done task destroy now let's do the HVT that one was always a good one I don't need any of the top part I just need this part. And we'll fix most of that up later. Now I'm just going to grab the intel from the parent. Shall pull it from the SAM, that'd be easier. Okay, this one is secure fuel supply. Actually, we're actually going to change this and make it a bit more generic and we'll customize it for the purposes of a fuel supply later on. So this one's just going to be, just, because ultimately in this one we're just, uh, just destroying the squad and any vehicles in the area. Uh, the description we will keep in line with that but then when we get to the parent child one for the operation we'll change the context of the task so we'll leave it as is destroy percentage six one two three four five six no percentage seven in this one squads Alright, a percentage seven. A small percentage seven. Squad. Observed. Knee percentage five. And appears to pose an immediate threat to the AO must be eliminated. Percentage 6 forces will move to the air and conduct a sweep in order to locate and eliminate the squads. In all, it's likely to have only one small squad operating with small arms and possibly addition of a light technical. Civilian population are neutral and unlikely to be of concern. Keep an eye out for watches, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, default position, that's fine. This one's going to be called um, Task Destroy Squad. Okay, so create the markers. I have to remember to delete these later on, but we'll do that later. Okay. Now we don't need the HVTs in this one, we just need the squads. Probability is 100% with offset position, distance, direction, let's get rid of that. Um, squad now, I've got a slightly different squad set up than the original versions, so we're going to just bring that here. Okay, so I've got an 8, a 6 and a 4 man squad. So we're just going to swap these out for an 8, 6 and a 4. That allows this to be a little bit more variable. Okay, patrolling, 90% chance of patrolling. If they're near buildings, which you're hoping for, uh, defending them. Same for group 2 there's at least three players, same for group three if there's at least six players. Alright, then we've got enemy vehicle, now we've got car and turret I believe I kept. Car and car turret, which is good. And we'll keep that in here, but this is where I like to throw a little bit of a curveball. We might give them a an APC to fight against. Ooh. Now, if we're an insurgent faction, just got to pick an APC or APC variants that we might go for. So, if we put these here. Now, an APC variant, always love the Madrid. Whack that one in there. The Marid is my favorite APC. Oh, the Marid, yeah. And for fear. Bro, the Nyx is top tier. Let's go. Let's rumble. <laughs> Could whack a Gorgon in there as well. And the Nyx is just a tin can. Exactly. So cute. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. Nix is Kawaii Chan. I love it how they put it in the tank section. Yeah. <laughs> it's a so. tank asterisk. Yeah. <laughs> Heck and tank it. Yeah, it's a tank. Tonk. It wants to be Tonk. wanting to grow up. I want to be like the Mora. <laughs> I want to be like Daddy Kuma. <laughs> so, essentially, if there's 16 players connected, there's a 70% chance that an APC will be in that task as well. Alright, and we don't want targets killed, we want units killed. Everything must die. Alright, so that task should work, so we'll just add that to the options, destroy a squad. So that'll now load... That the... was about 10 minutes. Yep. Including a nice pretty t title. So what you do now is, because I've included that in the base script, if I just reload the mission, uh, you should see it in the config which means we can now append that config to uh, an operational task. So if we look at here, you can see there's the the config for the task. So we will go to our operation and we'll create an operation task. 
and you append the config. Uh, let me just double check the format I'm using for S priority. Task one, okay. Okay, so you append the config by simply adding it to the end of that. So that will inherit all the configuration from the squad and then we can just tailor it with our own details. And that means now I can use that squad destroy task on any other type which has involvements of similar flavors. Rather than needing mm -hmm. to rewrite it every single time, I just tailor it based on the task. Because now I want the position types to be fuel. So that'll override. So if I save that and we add this into the configuration for the operations. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the INS on the end of that. I don't like that. Okay, so that's done. So if I reload this again. This task should be inherited but overwritten with fuel and a different. So there's all the details from. But you can see the one that I've overwritten because the indent is back to the left column. And you can see the groups have all been brought across. The markers are all there. And the objective criteria for succeed is there and task details. It's all there with the um, title of destroy, which is what I call it. So now if I go back to here, actually before I do that, I've got to add this as a child so it knows what to create. And we'll just play that out. We can test it. A record breaking three minutes. Oops, wrong one. F4, F2, bloody legend, S purity. Did I add this in properly? Ah, that's why. Not the end of the world, because I haven't um, updated my scripts for the mission console on where it gets its missions from. Uh, what do I want? I want here. So here's all the mission variations. You can see operation IDs of a 10, but I've now changed all of that, so I need to change this from 10 to 19 to operations, 20 to 49 are tasks. Mm. Oh yeah, I see. You have this legend over here. Twenty. What did I put it as? Twenty-two. Oh, Twenty-nine. So this should go all the way to ninety-nine. Right, uh, then a hundred is an encounter. So, by making that operations, I just need to copy them. So where it gets its operations, so for update available ops, 
goes and gets task modules. Now the task modules are created at the mission start. So they should be right here. That's where I need to update it. There we are. Right, so if I just re redo that. Keep in mind, you don't need to do this when you're building your own missions. If you're going to use the framework mm. for tax, um, I do this solely for patrol ops. There it is. Okay, so we've got air superiority and enemy forces are raiding civilian fuel supplies and need to be stopped. Cost four intel points. We will do that one. And there's the fuel supply. There. So if we go have a look. Ah, interesting. Ah, set up in a different way. That's right. So that Gorgon, Gorgon, destroy them. Oh, because side relations are not set to friendly. Yeah, exactly. I usually have everything against you. So attributes. Well, thanks. Very inspiring. There you go. Save that. So yeah, that's how a task is. So now, if I wanted to, for instance, make multiple um, fuel stations, I can just do the same, except this time I just want to inherit from the task one, I'll call this task two, and I literally don't need to do anything. I can literally just copy all of them in. All right. So now I have the foundations of a parallel operation across multiple simultaneous tasks. So if we look at the editor, you see everything's been spawned in and is running away. And here's the dynamic side of things. You can see this one's just got the technicals involved. They've occupied buildings and hidden around the town as well. So you'll need to go uh, town clearing for those. Mm, my favourite. Something we definitely need practice in. We just Is there a way to um, penalize destroying buildings? Uh, there is. I it's taxing on resources, though. We usually just level the entire town. So civilian casualties will be penalized. Oh, okay. That's fine. What's the penalty for civilian casualties, or is that more of a soon TN thing? Uh, we're going to work that one out as we go. Roger, Dodger. All right. Now, these ones here are not as well leading to anything. So these ones are just clearing the depot. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't gotten that. 
uh, position on this. Position equals position. Uh, type is, I don't want target, we want something else. So let's call it It's not attack. Could always use refuel as the ID. Um, now, the operation is here. Yeah, let's use refuel for the operation as well. So that's an operation done. Fresh. Extra chalky. Okay. Oui. Next one, HVT. Now I've called this one dealer, because this one I've had on my radar for a while. The premise Ooh. is you are eliminating a arms dealer for this one. Now this one is going to be a little bit different because it is not a simultaneous operation. It is a mix of simultaneous and um, additional child ones, so it's multi-staged. Mm -hmm. So we'll grab the Superiority one as our framework. And we're going to call this one OP SAD um, HVT Dealer. Catch it. Sad means search and destroy, not depressed. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many times I got emails or messages. I think it was in Patrol Ops 2 when I had a whole bunch of sad tasks, and everyone's like, Why do you call them sad? Isn't that depressing? or stuff like that. And I was just like, Really? It doesn't take you five seconds to Google that shit? Search and destroy, isn't that? I know. And there was another one, RTF. People get confused about RTF. Rich text file. <laughs> It's search and destroy, not sad and depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and RTF is Reconstruction Task Force, not Rich Text File. <laughs> well, now we have a, a sad, high-value target dealer. He's very sad. we got to bring him his antidepressants. Yeah. So this one's going to be interesting, so I don't want this one in clearings, but he may be in a farm, he may be in a villa, he may be not at a sports field, let's make it a town or a village. Remember if you ever get... What about a city? City is possible, it's going to be a bit of a bitch to get him out, but we can try. Uh, amazing, I don't have city on my list. City is definitely, a, if you ever get lost on what position search types are, and keep in mind you can create your own when you generate your own map data, but if you go to here, and you go to the areas, here are all the areas and the area types. So if you see a type city, you can use it. If you have um, religious buildings, oh, I think I spelled religious wrong in that one. What about a uh, um, 
using industrial areas for that mission. Yes, that's definitely a possibility. Uh, the risk with industrial areas, though, is sometimes the buildings. You can be on them, not in them. Yeah. That's the only sometimes caveat. there's no insides. Exactly. So that's the only caveat to... Um, uh, we'll make them in a religious site as well. So we'll do city, town, village. Ah, oh, yes, war crimes. We will do villas, farms, and religious sites for this one. in this one. Now, we're actually going to give this guy a code name, and for that I've got a function. So, if we go to tasks and we go to our description arguments, get task description, we have a variable called code name. So we're going to sneak a code name into here. So we've got operation name, random code, date time, world, and we have a code name. Actually, we're not going to do the code name at this stage, but we will come back to that. Because at this stage we don't know shit about him. So, an unknown or but well-resourced arms dealer has uh, moved into percentage one, two, three, four, which is a world name. So, the idea of allowing world name allows you to port this task to different maps and not have to change it. Uh, moved on to percentage four, and is supplying. Percentage six with um, large quantities of lethal aid. This has destabilized the region further. heightened shit later it gets heightened the has heightened the risk to percentage five four operations in percentage Check my spelling because I think I did that really badly. Not Netflix word. I saw you click on word. I don't know how it went to Netflix. <laughs> oh, I was clicking way too quickly. Heightened, I spelled wrong. Go on Netflix. Netflix. Netflix, chill with Roy, let's go. <laughs> go. You got a flight to catch, mate. <laughs> vroom vroom, I have my motorboat, let's go. <laughs> Alright, rest of that spelt. Well, what does it want me to fix here? <laughs> really hyphenated ass, okay. 
All right, action. Percentage five forces will conduct several um, small operations to identify and locate the unknown HVT. It is requested that all efforts be made to capture him. However, lethal force may be necessary. I know I spelled that wrong. very little intel on the HVT, however, percentage six forces are likely to have further intel. resistance with small arms fire and light technicals. Alright, now we'll go to my favourite description. Okay. Right, no child tasks yet. Alright. So the first task is going to be a destroy the squad one but for the purpose of this we're going to add in a drop in tell I've just got to remember the config for that a lot of folders named tasks <laughs> so many task functions task compositions markers deployables groups is what I want ok I want drop intel so for the squad we're going to I'm going to do it at Squads have a hundred percent chance of dropping into, which is good. Alright, so I'm gonna take this one, which is dealer, but we're gonna replace this. Task one is gonna be destroy squad, except we're gonna make this at similar locations but we're probably going to move them into a more rural area so we might eliminate cities and towns from this one definitely maintain religious sites I'm going to do this one called retrieve intel because that's exactly what we're doing and we're going to get where's the intel there it is Okay, reports from a local leader, indicates which are, indicates a small percentage, six fours are operating near. Now, here I've got some options for us to use. So 
This one has a confirmed position on the map other than, so the parents don't typically have a presence on the map, they're just a hierarchy, but the factual tasks here um, definitely do, so we have a variable called nearest location, uh, which I'm not using, but I'll get that one, so nearest location. world region, that's what I want. Operating near percentage, what are we, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in the percentage 8 of percentage 4. So that'll say potentially operating near such and such in the northeast of Altus. It is likely they have intel on our arms dealer considering the display of force. So they are conducting all right, recent move, we'll move to percentage seven to locate the percentage six forces and retrieve any intel that can be located. Century 6 operating, oh, Century 6 forces. speed and low profile be prepared as it is unknown on as prepared as it is unknown as to what lethal aid they have access Okay, position, intel, okay, we're going to put task one as a child, alright, so that'll call up, this is the starting task, and now we've got the beauty of setting the next task, so if we go back to here, we're going to declare a different objective, this time we're going to replace exceed, we're well actually going to add to succeed uh, with intel picked up and we can confirm that's the task condition by looking at the arguments that need to be processed so we want intel picked up or intel received or intel downloaded but when you're picking up something it's picked up if you're downloading it from actually we might do download it as well let's put it as an option or intel downloaded just in case we decide to use a composition in potentially another task okay uh, and in this one we're going to do next task I'm going to create another next task. So I'm just going to loop it back in on itself for now to demonstrate 
how this works, but essentially it'll now daisy chain multiple tasks together. It'll just do it back in on itself for now until we create an alternative task. Oh, yeah, and I'm just wasting my time here because I haven't added this to the config yet. So this one is called include operations. There we are. You should have a script that runs it, scoops up all the new tasks and puts them in the config. <laughs> yeah, that's efficiency. it's popped up straight away. So this one's called Operation Song Journalism. Okay. That one's appropriate. Operation Army Jester for the Field Depot. Alright, let's activate Song Journalism. Okay, let's check it out. So, an unknown but well-resourced arm steel has moved into Altus and is supplying Syndicate with, a large, quant with large quantities of lethal aid. This has destabilized the region further and has heightened the risk to NATO operations in Altus. NATO forces will conduct several small operations to identify and locate the unknown HVT. It is requested that all efforts be made to capture him, however lethal force may be necessary. There is very little intel on the HVT, however syndicate forces are likely to have further intel available in order to locate him. Expect heavy resistance with small arms fire and te light technicals. Speak with civilians who may have intel on the target or enemy positions. Recovering the intel from syndicate forces may provide leads on a location of, or target of opportunity. So assigning reports from a local leader indicate a small syndicate force. A small syndicate forces. That doesn't make sense. Is operating near quarry in the central in the central of Altus. That's a bit grammatically in error, but in, let's get rid of the in central Altus. That might make a bit more sense. Alright, it's operating near. Did they say like central, northern, southern, eastern, yes. and western? And northwest uh, and northeast and stuff like that as well. So if you did it as in operating near a, or in central Altus? In a central location of. No. So do like location of. Now I've kept kept it a lot simpler, so it'll do in this one you just put it as operating near quarry in central Altus or in northwest out northwest Altus and stuff like that. So if you remove Oh so no no of Yeah, you just literally put so what I've done here is I've just put uh, in percentage eight and percentage four. So it'll go operating near factory in central Altus or operating in clearing in southwest Altus or something like that. Perfect. Uh, so it is likely they have intel on our arms dealer considering the display of forces they are conducting. Native forces will move to quarry to locate the syndicate forces and retrieve any intel that can be located. Syndicate forces are likely to be using small arms fire with support from light technicals to maintain speed and low profile. Be prepared as it is unknown as to what lethal aid they have access to. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's look at where that spawned on the map. So we're assuming it's a quarry. Yeah, there's a quarry nearby. So that's the quarry there. So keep in mind that the target indicator there won't be in the full version. It's just for debugging purposes. So all you're going to see is this area with that task marker there. So let's gear up. Actually, we won't. Okay, let's just use Zeus to kill it. Except remember, if I destroy everyone, this will not complete the task. Because you have to grab intel off of one of their bodies. Bingo.
goodbye. So now we're going to transport. Ah. Uh, whew, good, didn't trigger. Some intel, an Emerald PDA. Found the intel. Task complete. Now that should loop in on itself and create another version. Ah, oh, yeah, because it's the same task name. That's okay. Half expected that. But you can see how it loops it in, creates the next, so it daisy chains the task together. Just don't loop it in on itself. Okay. Alright, so Intel was picked up. Now, what did I have from the original version? Was it five or was it two? I think it was two. Target drug factory. Drug ah, oh, these are the old ones. No mind. So, clear the intel. Next one is... Right, so I'm actually going to spawn two tasks. I'm going to do it as two and three. So this will spawn. If you use next task, it'll select randomly. If you use next tasks, it'll spawn both. Two. Will it spawn both of them simultaneously or in order? Simultaneously. Gotcha. So if you wanted them in order, you would have next task in this one, then next task in that one, and so forth. Uh, to daisy chain them along, but um, to diverge and create simultaneous tasks, you would use next tasks. Uh, to spawn multiple tasks at once. So this one, we're going to create something a bit more bespoke. Just can't remember what my original note was for this one. Ah uh, yes, bespoke. Every programmer's most hated word. <laughs> well, this one's going to be a new task. Dot uh, we want to download some intel from this one, so we're going to get instead of destroy, it is download dot uh, intel dot. Let's do camp. All right. So we're going to create a camp, which I've done before, which is download intel download camp. Here's the task. I only need the composition. The rest we're just going to grab from the destroy squad. Okay, so the condition on this one is going to be Intel downloaded. Alright, scope one target now ID needs to change. And this one is a security task, so 14. No, that's an operation. I don't think I've declared this one at all. Let's do it.
Okay, I'll call this one 31. Minimum Intel score is irrelevant in this one. Types. Now, we can't put this in a farm building, we cannot put this in a military installation, and we can't, oh, we could do it in a sports field. So we'll do it in clearings, hills, and sport fields, nice open areas because we're spawning a composition this time. Position layer last. Forces will move to the air and conduct a sweep in order to locate and eliminate percentage forces, therefore retrieving any intel from Okay, percentage for a minimal with like a one small squad or a small one for a technical, blah blah blah. Okay, that's fine. Intel position, random code. Okay, target position, composition. We want to download the intel now. It could be either two variants of camps, put intel and drop. That's fine. Uh, let's reduce the number of vehicles. But I'm going to introduce the potential of an APC at a lower level. And that should work. Okay. So add that in. Okay, so this should spawn. Oh my goodness. Do this way too many times. Right, let's see how this one goes. How are you guys finding it? And we're here. Very, very informative. We're live. Good. Alright, let's execute this lethal aid one. So this one's... Hmm. I don't even know what that means. Oh. 
a feeling of listlessness and dissatisfaction arising from a lack of occupation and excitement. Operation Coffin. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Coffin, a feeling of listlessness and dissatisfaction arising from a lack of occupation and excitement. So a lack of occupation. So basically it's saying Coffin, coffin is unoccupied. <laughs> Interesting. Oh shit, it's all the way up We there. can fix that. <laughs> Let's go fill the coffin, shall we? Alright. We will bombard them in the meantime. Good. I mean, you hit them in the right spot, there's nothing to put in the coffin. Map data uh. up there. Some intel. Uh, we'll pack up some of these bodies as well. Rest in peace, church. You were good while it lasted. Died too young. The operation complete. Ah, uh, I found my glitch. Okay, so the cop operation completed, but the tasks still exist. So if we look here, you can see the composition that was created on the hillside here. So if we go and have a look. Shot to death for a sec. I can go. Ah. Contact, soldier. Go here and download. <laughs> Which has been included on a carelessly tossed laptop. How many terabytes is on that laptop? Uh, 1.16 terabytes. That's a lot of data. So you can... Go away. Alright, so you see it's linked to me. And if I move further away, the signal gets low and the rate slows as well. What about number of people nearby? Ah, uh, no. It's point to point. Gotcha. If you get too far away, you'll break the connection. And just before you do it, it warns you, and then if you do, you've got to restart it. Make a, a pretty graphic at another time to demonstrate the downloading. Mm. What are they keeping on that laptop? That's a lot of data. Uh, well, they're in short surgeons, so I'll let you go figure. <laughs> Actually, banned a guy from uh, the channel for what he suggested was on the laptop. Yeah. They probably have pictures from their mom of their dog. <laughs> 1 1.12, 1 1.13, 1 1.145, and 6. Done. So that task already completed, so there's no point. That's what the downloading looks like. So once you 
get into it, you just start downloading and away you go. And keep in mind each thing is a event variable that synchronizes, so when you start downloading it's a global event. When you stop downloading, like I just did, download's been cancelled, it's a global event. So you can synchronize this stuff across multiple clients. Perfect. Is that a yellow line just to see in developer who is uh, downloading it? Ah, uh, yeah. So everyone should be able to see that. Oh. Cool. Um, and it's also, it starts off green when you're really close, then it goes yellow, and then as you get into the danger, it goes, see how it's going orange to red. Until you disconnect. So that just uses a, oh, it's been a while since I wrote this one. Um, here it is. So on Intel download start, which is the event that fires. Um, synchronize the objects then on each frame. Uh, this is where it's just doing a really shitty render. And then it's simulating. So here is where it gets the color. So it sets the color using a linear thing for the distance. So the closer you get, which is, so the first one is red. So as you get further away, red gets closer to one. And when you're close, red is obviously zero and green is closer to one. Nice. But as you saw, it doesn't really work because you get mostly just shades of yellow. It needs to be like a probably a small logarithmic equation just to to do that properly. Mm -hmm. Actually, probably just an even simpler method would be to link it to the link delay. distance number yeah because the link delay is between 1 and 0 0.1 so if we just do switch true do case link delay is less than 0 0.1 Three color set zero one actually no I want color set the other way around zero if the link delay is less than six should run a bit faster. Now I just noticed a glitch because I haven't linked it properly but um, the child tasks shouldn't cause the 
parent to complete until after they're done. Mm -hmm. Because the evaluation is happening before they get created, it's thinking uh, it's, um, it's done. All good. Uh, so what do we do this time? Oh, how appropriate. Operation Evil Death. <laughs> Just to make sure death's not scary enough. Alright, let's bomb these guys. of intel on the ground. Okay. Ah, so see this time the download, yeah, and then it completed because it didn't map it properly. Not the end of the world. We'll deal with that. Just kill off these guys because they're just a pain in the ass. There it is over there. Interesting, it's in the middle of the field. Must have gotten flung away from uh, the composition. By the explosion. There it is. What's the maximum amount of data you'll have to download? Uh, it's random. Uh, let me just check. So, where it sets the... There's the bitrate. So you got terabytes. Okay. Um, where is it set? So a terabyte plus one third of a terabyte. So, oh yeah, up to, uh, I guess one point one, uh, one point three terabytes. So somebody had like a five hundred gigabyte SSD and then a one terabyte hard drive in their laptop. Interesting is link delay. Color is still looking yellow to me, but that might just be me. Uh, might be because it's. No, even that still should be. Let me just do the round link. Okay. 
is good so zero zero three is not good so zero set one as zero. So it should be Try that again. So the idea is they pick up the intel, they go download the intel. We need something for that other task. Ah, what are we looking for? We are looking for Union Centipede, okay. Mm-hmm. What happened? Something loud explosion in my ear. Uh oh. Okay. There it is, download in tow. You know what? I'll just let you watch the stream. Mm. It's the difference between American spelling and ever in the real world spelling. <laughs> Fortress smile this time. Good thing is when this is demonstrating is the fact that uh, how the um, variable position of the tasks is created, but also consistent it is as well with deploying properly. It's gonna pile them all on in one place you can collect it. Pretty much. What 
is that? Stream, hold on. It's pretty behind now. It's had to buffer a couple times. There we go. Yeah, I see it. So if you lose the connection, uh, you gotta restart. Now, there's one thing I wanted to build into the tasks, uh, which is uh, not going to do it tonight because it's gonna take way too long. Um, but it uh, is while you're downloading it. Um, yeah, you, you just got to be careful. Because uh, the idea is while you're downloading, remember you've got global event handlers. Mm -hmm. So when you start downloading, the, in, the enemy aren't just going to sit there and take it. They'll start attacking. So it'll start spawning units come attack? Yep. Or a missile strike, or who knows. I think if it's in a fob like that, or a little, I don't know, position, that'd be really fun to fight out of. This time it mapped it, it mapped it fast enough. This time, so let's go do the other one. Let's get right in there. Full blast. 